Whether you're making a snack for the kids or if you're looking to brighten up their lunchbox, you're going to absolutely love today's recipe. With a few basic ingredients and a little bit of know-how, you'll be able to make something that's just as good as the bakery, but at a fraction of the price. It's time for some cheesy pizza scrolls on The One Pot Chef. So first into our mixing bowl goes two and a quarter cups of self-raising flour. Now, if you don't have self-raising flour, as I've said before, you can use plain flour and you can use two teaspoons of baking powder. But if you are doing the plain flour and baking powder version, you will need to sift the flour and the baking powder through a couple of times just to make sure that baking powder is all the way through. Now to that, I'm going to add 60 grams of butter. This is just cold butter out of the fridge. And I'm just gonna pop that in like that. It's all chopped up into little bits. It makes it a little easy to integrate. Now, here comes the messy bit. Just using your fingertips, we're just going to rub that butter into the flour. Just through your fingertips. Takes a couple of minutes, but basically what we're doing is we're gonna get this butter into the flour until all the butter lumps are gone and the flour will sort of turn into a golden pale yellow sort of colour. It'll look a bit like crumbs. So the butter's been rubbed into the flour there. It's gone a slightly yellow colour. Just gonna season this with a little pepper and some salt. And I'm just going to create a little well in the middle, just like that. And into the well, I'm going to put two thirds of a cup of milk. Just let it go in there. And using a knife with a rounded edge, we're just going to make cutting motions and mix this until a dough forms. Now, don't be tempted to use a spoon or a whisk or anything. You really want this to come together naturally. Um, it'll look a little lumpy at first, but it will start to sort of come together eventually. Just using that knife, just cut through until it starts. You can see it's starting to come together already. This takes about maybe one or two minutes and then you'll have your dough. If it's looking a little dry, you can add a little bit of extra milk, maybe one or two tablespoons, until it starts to come together. Now I've just pressed this together to make a slight ball, and all I'm going to do now is knead it. Now kneading it is basically using the heel of your hand, and just press down into it, bring it over, press down again, bring it over. Just keep doing that until it goes nice and smooth. Now on the chopping board I have placed a little bit of baking paper and I put the dough on top. I'm going to put another sheet of paper over the top of it, like so. And using my rolling pin, I'm just going to gently roll this out until it's become a nice large rectangle, about maybe 30 to 35 centimeters lengthwise. We're gonna basically just press it out. That's rolled out. It doesn't have to be absolutely even or absolutely rectangular. We just want to flatten it out into a rough rectangle shape. Now, next we're going to put on some sauce. I'm just using some spaghetti sauce, the same kind of pasta sauce you would use if you're just tossing it through some pasta. And we're just gonna swirl it around, making sure that you leave about a two centimeter or one inch gap around the edges. I'm going to place some ham on here as well. Now, of course, you don't have to use ham if you don't want to. There are many alternatives. You could use some chicken. You could use, if you're doing vegetarian, you could do baby spinach leaves, a bit of feta cheese maybe, whatever you really fancy. As I said, whatever you've got, just chuck it on. I'm going to scatter a little cheese on here as well. Probably about half a cup or so. I'm not really measuring it. Just essentially, just scatter it around there. You don't want too much on there, otherwise it will just booze everywhere. I'm just using regular grated tasty cheddar cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. If you like crumbled feta, you can use that. Whatever you fancy. That's our fillings in. So now we're just going to roll this up using the long edges. We're gonna turn it into a big log. So we're just gonna roll this over, bit at a time, nice and slow, making sure it's all enclosed. And using a sharp serrated knife, we're just going to cut this into 12 portions. And just before we pop these into the oven, we're just gonna put a little bit of cheese on top of each one, just a little extra. 
And these little babies are ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius or about 180 degrees Celsius if you're using a fan forced oven. About 20 minutes or until they puffed up, gone golden, the cheese on top has melted. So let's have a look at the finished result. Freshly out of the oven are delicious pizza scrolls. As you can see, we've got that lovely cheese and sauce and ham all lovely and golden and brown. Got that lovely golden pastry sort of almost a bit like a scone or a scone. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, these are too hot to eat right now, so I'm not going to take a bite of one of them right now, but I will have a couple of these for lunch. So I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And of course, all of the ingredients are in the description below. Until next time, see you later.